G'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. Today I'm working on an aftermarket ECU again. And we're going to compare the two link base model ECUs. That will be the Atom 2 and the Monsoon. So these would be the two entry level ECUs in the link range and they're a great little package and they're great little units but why would you choose one over the other we're going to have a look at through a couple of the features of the two different ECUs personally I generally prefer the monsoon but that doesn't mean a lot to you if, if you don't understand why the wiring loom I'm working on is for a van and I've decided to go through the centre of the plenum out and then the throttle body sits actually up where my hand is. I'm also going to be using different igniters so we'll be discussing igniters in another video. Let's have a look at the comparison between the Atom, sorry, Atom 2 and the Monsoon. Starting with the Atom, so on the Link website, or if you've got the Link brochure, there's this really, really helpful comparison chart, though it can be a little bit overwhelming when you just look at it and you can't compare it back to real world. As I said, for this exercise we'll be focusing on the Atom and the Monsoon. So let's look at these two ECUs. Both have got a small plastic casing. Both of them have got the LED to so show when they're powered up. And both and both have the little mini USB communication port. In the box when they arrive. They both have their own quick start guides and a tuning cable suitable for plugging in. Both of them also share the same bracket. So visually, the difference between the two is the sticker on them. And the Monsoon has this extra little port, little vacuum port going in. And that's the built-in map sensor. So that's probably the first thing for me that makes quite a big difference. The other difference between the two of them is the number of outputs. So the Monsoon has the built-in map sensor and a few more outputs. It jumps from four of the Atom to six on the monsoon. We can also use the unused ignition outputs on both of them as auxiliary outputs. So depending on your application, that does give you a few more outputs. Both of them share the same connector plug, and that's the, the, the A plug, as shared with the rest of the link range. The early Atoms had a different plug, but fortunately, when they got upgraded to the Atom 2, they standardised to that same A plug as every, every other ECU in the range. If we go through the comparison chart, both the Monsoon and the Atom have four injector outputs and four ignition outputs. For me, because I do a lot of 1U ZFEs, that means if I'm running one of these ECUs, I'm group firing the injectors. I do also have one coming up very soon where I'm going to run individual coils wired wasted spark. So I'm using all four injector and all four ignition outputs. With the digital inputs, the Monsoon has got four well, the Atom's only got two. For the temperature, 
both of them have only got two temperature inputs. So th in that sense, they're the same. However, the monsoon's got one extra analog input at four, whereas the atom's only got three. You'll also be using one of your analog inputs on the atom for a map sensor, because the monsoon's already got one. So effectively, that kind of gives you an extra analog input if you're using them. If we jump back over to the laptop, we can very quickly run down the list now. We've gone through the top part of it, but we can see that both the atom and the monsoon shear, that they don't do e-throttle, not control. They both have an OBD2. Neither have the 8 volt output, the trigger scope, and the logging parameters are the same. So in that respect, they're very, very similar. Right down to the bottom of this list here, one thing that's important to note in some applications is the monsoon has VVT control, uh, where the atom doesn't. I've been using a few monsoons lately on Ford, Barra, Superstocks over here in New Zealand with the variable cam time. So the monsoon was a good choice. Grouped ignition, uh, wasted spark, wired as wasted spark, they work really, really well. You also get launch control on the monsoon that you don't get on the Atom. Apart from that, they're two very, very similar units. If we look at the pinout, the pinouts are very, very similar, except the Atom has some holes missing where it doesn't have outputs. Because the monsoon fills them all up. So it's five pins that are different, and or five pins that the monsoon uses that the atom doesn't, and an internal map sensor. Now it may not seem like much, but to me that can be quite a big difference. And cost-wise, with the atom, it's going to need a map sensor. So if you require to buy a map sensor, then stepping up to the monsoon seems like a likely choice. So reasons you might run the Atom over a monsoon. You're doing a vehicle that already has a map sensor and you don't need the extra outputs. That can sometimes backfire later on down the track if you choose to make some changes. However, we don't always have that unlimited budget. So an Atom might be a good choice. Personally, I pretty much jump straight to the Monsoon. For me, I find they're an awesome unit to use in the budget end of the range, yet still generally have enough outputs to do the jobs I want to do. On the One UZs, I swap to a two-wire idle speed control unit. I can then run speedo correction. I can run... I can then run speedo correction, fuel pump, fans, check light, air conditioning, and possibly a warning light. And I'm able to do everything I do in that sense that I need to. And the other question, of course, that will come up, how do they tune up? Will they run a turbo? The map sensor in the monsoon's a four bar. So as far as that goes, and as far as tuning goes, all the link ECUs, tune in a very similar way. But you'll have compromises on the number of injectors you can run. So going with the budget end of the range, an Atom and a Monsoon, the tunes will be exactly the same. In fact, you can pretty much take the tune out of the Atom, pop it into the Monsoon. So providing it's configured on its inputs and outputs in the same places, they're both gonna work. You can also take a tune from a storm with a little bit of a tweak or any of the other range and use them in the monsoon, providing you know what you're doing. The advantage on the next range is into the storm, into the fury, you get more auxiliary inputs and outputs, but you also get those extra injector drives and extra ignition drives. So it may allow you to do full sequential injection and individual fire spark 
if the vehicle has that number of cylinders. If it's a four cylinder, going up to eight injector drives is gonna make no difference because you don't need them. You've only got four injectors. So if I was going to rate them against each other, comes down to the application that I'm, I'm putting them on. I generally favor the monsoon, the big brother to the atom, but at the end of the day, they're both gonna tune the car perfectly well if they're set up properly. So I hope that was helpful, and we'll talk to you again soon.